Don't think. Feel. It's just like a finger pointing to the moon. Don't concentrate on the finger. All you miss all the heavenly glow. Do you understand? Hello YouTubers. Okay. Today's video we're going to talk about tones, tackling tones for Cantonese, Mandarin, uh, any of those languages that have tones. Now, there's been some people there's been some people asking me how am I going about tackling these Cantonese tones. I guess these are uh, people who are new to my channel. I think I made a video a long time ago. All my videos are scattered. I couldn't find the video, but I'm going to talk about it here today. All right, before we get started, I'm eating this. This is Thai. That's the Thai restaurant. Got rice and egg, like coconut flavor. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, so tones are very important in Chinese or any any language. If you don't get them right, you won't have some problems. Um, we know that the meaning changes. So it's very important to get them right, get them right the first time. Now, if you don't get them right the first time, what's going to happen is later on, you're going to have it's, it's going to be hard to get it's going to be hard to um, get rid of that habit, that bad habit. So, for me, what I'm doing for Cantonese, well, first of all, I should say I don't know the I don't know the tones yet uh, for Cantonese. I don't know them. If you ask me what is the fourth tone, the third tone, or whatever, I can't tell you right now. Why? Because I haven't studied them yet. Okay? Now, what I decided to do was just let the, let the tones grow on me through just listening to the context and just listening to Cantonese all the time. Um, I think, because I've been studying Cantonese for about nine months now, and I think uh, real soon I'm going to start going back and getting into the tones and stuff, trying to understand every last single tone in that language. So I still need to practice a little bit. Uh, my tones aren't perfect, but they are pretty good. They're better than my the, better than my Mandarin tones, that's for sure. But um, real soon I will start to study those tones for Cantonese. Right now I'm just doing this, listening stuff, and just letting them grow on me. That's it. That's all. That's all I'm doing. Now. Um, <clears throat> Some people they were asking me, well, if you don't know the tones, then how are you, you know, how how are you able to produce these? How are, how are you able to speak this Cantonese? Well, um, like I said, I'm just listening to the stuff, all the vocabulary I've learned, I've, all the vocabulary, all the vocabulary I've used is from they're from that from in, those dialogues or whatever I've been listening to. That's where I learned them from. I learn them from listening to them over and over and over and over and over and over again, and then I go to a chat room somewhere and I just use that stuff right away. I use everything I learn right away so it can stick. So um, this is really this is a really good way for me to learn tones. I don't know, like I said, everyone has their own approach. Um, this this approach may not work for you, but for me, I think it's really good. It is really really good. So. Um, yeah, so I'm just like I said, I'm listening to those um, audio books. I listen to some programs. Uh, I have a whole bunch of podcasts, and that's it. You just do that over a certain period of time, and things will just grow on you. That's that's how it works. That's how language works. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's all I want to talk about these tones, and um, I think this is a good way because it's not stressful. It's stress free. You don't have to worry about. You don't have to worry about, um, okay, this is third tone, so it should be like this. It should be like that. It's all stressful. Now, if you have a, like, if you have a beginner learning something, you know, let's say Mandarin, and um, they're so busy caught up in these tones, they're going to get confused because, see, in Mandarin, you have, like, certain words, like, let's say, uh, I'll take my name, uh, Lao Shu, Lao, and then you have Shu. That's, both of those words are third tone. But they, it changes. The first tone changes to a second tone. You see, it's Lao Shu. But a beginner, they will if they focus on the tone so much, they will say Lao Shu. They they will get it confused because they're not used to it yet. So 
that's why I say, you know, um, it's good to just listen to it over and over and over and over and over. Especially if you, you know, if you if you're in an environment that's great because you get to wake up every morning, you get to hear it. You know, you hear it every day, all day. But if you're in your if you're in your own country, uh, you may want to go ahead and um, you may want to go ahead and get some audio books like the ones I've showed you and listen to those over and over and over again. You see, no one can teach you the tones. We need to uh, get that through our heads. No one can teach you the tones. I mean. I guess they can show you, they can show you say, okay, this is first tone, this is how first tone sounds, this is second tone, it looks like this is like that, but can no one teach you how to get them right? Only you can get them right, you know? You only can get them right yourself. So if you have, if someone is constantly, if someone is constantly uh, correcting you, saying, no, it's this tone, it's no, it's this, no, it's, it, that is so stressful because you can't, someone that's doing that, they can't help you. They can't help you to get it right. You have to get it right on your own. You guys agree with that? So, yeah. Um, if you're just beginning on a, a tonal language, I was, I would, this was, I would say like, um, I would say try it out. You know, I would suggest you to get a course with audio and just listen to it, set a schedule, listen to it as much as you can on top of listening to different programs um, it could be news, shows, or anything where you can hear the language spoken at normal speed not at slow speed, at normal speed okay, you want to do this every day or almost every day so that's it that's how I'm doing it, that's how I'm going to continue to do it I wish I'd have had this approach when I first started Manor, but unfortunately at that time, you know, I was just a beginner learning, a beginner of learning languages, and the courses that were offered for Mandarin, they didn't really, they had audio, but it wasn't like a course where I could sit down and listen to it. But even if they did have it, I probably wouldn't have had, I probably wouldn't have had a good technique to go through that. But um, yeah, I just, I don't know, the approach was different. But I'm glad now that I could take this approach and learn a tonal language um, swiftly. So. My question to you guys is, of course, to those of you who have studied tonal language or, or are in the process of studying tonal language, what approach are you taking? Like, what do you, what, do, what, what would you prefer to do? What, do you prefer to just study the tones and then get into the listening and all that stuff? What, what, what are you doing? So, that's it for this video. Thanks for viewing, and um, I look forward to you guys' comments or video responses.